Hello. Friends today, we have something truly exciting to discuss. In the previous year NASA launched James Webb Space Telescope in order to explore the universe. This telescope is placed at Langrange Point, the point in space where the gravitational forces of two large celestial bodies, such as a planet and its moon or a planet and the sun, balance the centripetal force felt by a smaller object, like a satellite. But now NASA's groundbreaking plan to build a telescope on the moon. In this video, we will delve deep into this ambitious project, exploring the why, how, and what of this remarkable endeavor. Let's understand why NASA is venturing into lunar telescope construction. Earth-based telescopes have been incredible tools for astronomers, but they have their limitations. Factors like the Earth's atmosphere and light pollution often obstruct our view of the universe. To overcome these issues, scientists have long dreamt of placing a telescope on the moon. The moon offers several advantages. No atmosphere, low temperatures, and stable geological conditions. These factors make it an ideal location for a telescope that can observe the cosmos with unmatched clarity and precision. Now, let's move on to how NASA plans to make this vision a reality. The Artemis program, NASA's ambitious lunar exploration initiative, is at the heart of this endeavor. Its goal is to land the first woman and the next man on the moon by the mid-2025. As part of Artemis, NASA is building the Lunar Gateway, a space station orbiting the moon. The Lunar Gateway will serve as a crucial stopover point for astronauts heading to the lunar surface and will play a vital role in lunar telescope operations. Now, let's explore what telescope NASA intends to send to the moon. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is often referred to as NASA's next big thing in space exploration. It's a colossal observatory designed to study the universe in ways that no other telescope has before. JUST's groundbreaking features include its ability to observe in the infrared spectrum, allowing it to peer through cosmic dust clouds, see the birth of stars, and even detect exoplanet atmospheres. Naturally, sending JWST to the moon is a monumental task. It involves replicating this advanced technology for lunar conditions, ensuring it can operate seamlessly in a drastically different environment. Building a telescope on the moon is not without its challenges. Let's discuss some of the hurdles NASA must overcome. The moon's surface is harsh, extreme temperatures, radiation, and a lack of atmosphere make it a hostile environment for any equipment. NASA must develop technology capable of withstanding these conditions. Getting the telescope to the moon is no easy feat. It requires heavy lift launch vehicles, precise navigation, and a carefully planned landing. With a telescope on the moon, scientists hope to make groundbreaking discoveries in various fields, from understanding the early universe to characterizing exoplanets and much more. That is precisely the plan proposed by NASA scientists. A radio telescope on the far side of the moon, using one of the many craters pock marking its surface. This proposal is part of a program at NASA where researchers are encouraged to think about futuristic technologies that could be plausible within the next 10 to 20 years. So how plausible is this? Building structures on the moon is not easy. The core idea behind this telescope is to use a crater on the moon as a bowl, removing the need for heavy support structures and constructing the dish. First, it needs to be on the far side of the moon. The moon is tidally locked to the Earth. And thus the far side is always facing away from Earth, and so it shields it from the radio noise we emit. The further away the crater is from the near side of the moon the better. To fit the 350 meters wide dish the crater needs to be 5 kilometers in circumference and 175 meters deep. It needs to be as smooth as possible, lacking any large boulders or mounds. Finally, we want to point away from the center of the Milky Way galaxy, our galaxy. To observe the radio waves emitted from the early universe we want to point our telescope to the quieter parts of the universe. But we can't point a crater. We have to rely on the moon's natural motion to sweep a section of the sky. By choosing proper crater it helpful to reduce the noise coming from galaxies. This telescope will capture the electromagnetic signals of frequencies between 4.7 MHz to 47 MHz. This telescope will be deployed through special robot. But this project is very complex and will take 10 to 20 years. 
This is today video thanks for watching.